we're really focus, uh, we're really talking about foreclosure defense cases and what you as the consumer need to do if you're contemplate or if, if you know a foreclosure is coming, we want to set out some guidelines for what you should be doing so that you're prepared rather than panicking. We've already talked about you know that when you should contemplate talking to an attorney and most attorneys offer free consultations so I don't think that should be an issue well, that should not be one of your fears not wanting to go see an attorney go see an attorney find out everything you can from the attorney find out what you can do to protect yourself find out what your options are then you know making the decision to hire the attorney that's kind of an individual thing in other words if the rapport is not there for you then the rapport shouldn't be there for the attorney and you may want to find somebody else who's a better fit uh, number three, should you have an attorney? I think that's pretty clear. You know, unless the attorney says, you don't need me, then I really think you want to have an attorney on your side, even if it's just to give a deed in lieu of foreclosure. Right. I'm, I'm going to interrupt for just a minute. That's something that's really important, too. You want to make sure when you're talking, that's why it's so important to find the right attorney. I think so. Some attorneys will will take your case even if you're, you don't really need them. Yes. Uh, you want to make sure when you're talking to them, and, and that's why it's important to find out, talk to other people. Um, uh, find out about that specific attorney you're meeting with. They may, the right person may tell you you don't need them, and, and then and then it's okay. Try it on your own if it's an issue that that you can handle. But it really is important to get to know your attorney, establish that relationship. Uh, we were talking about someone not having an attorney. You know, oh yeah, I'm not sure what all of you understand, but it's not a criminal case where you are entitled to representation. In a foreclosure case you don't have that right. You, you obviously can get an attorney right. and you should, right. but the court does not appoint one if you don't have one. So I was in court yesterday when this situation came up and unfortunately they were at the last hearing for this case. It's what's called summary judgment. We're at the summary judgment hearing and I was watching, waiting for my hearing and there was an, a, a lady who was representing herself. She didn't have an attorney. She didn't have the funds available to hire someone at that time. There is help for someone available out there. She waited too long. They were at the last hearing. Uh, and when she asked the judge for a little bit of time to get another attorney, to get an attorney, to get the funds available, the bank's attorney said, you know, this was two months we've been waiting for this hearing. It takes, the court system is overburdened. It yes. took two months to get a five minute hearing time on the judge's schedule. They don't necessarily like to continue cases for no reason. So make sure we tend people procrastinate. It's the nature of, it's the nature of the Human beast. Nature. But, Everybody right, does it. But don't do it. If you know you're behind, go see somebody, start now and you know, start looking into everybody, uh, other attorneys and, and get in there now and establish that relationship. Get to know the attorney that's going to represent you.